jam out to that, jam out to that. You better have jammed out to that. That was Fail Bait by Dead Mouse featuring Cypress Hill. I just want to throw that in there because why the fuck not? I was, I was listening to it. I was jamming out while I was getting ready. So obviously, as you can see here, we're here with Evolve and this motherfucker's name, Bucket. Bucket's weird, but he's badass. He's weird, but I uh, feel like he's probably one of the better support once you actually get used to his nuances. But anyway, so before we get started here, uh, I just wanted to kind of throw it. I won't. Do not be expecting too much amazement. I actually feel like this is the type of, um, by far is the type of video that is significantly better to just, like, record and, like, later, like, just record a shit ton of matches and later on just cut out, like, 90% of the game because about 10% of it is actually worth watching like the moment to moment shit is very dull very boring you're basically spending the majority of your time uh chasing shit trying to catch the mon either trying to catch the monster or trying to get away from the hunters just depending upon what's going down so it's very much it's very much a game that is like you know 90 percent running around and trying to figure out you know where you want to go and then 10 percent actual like action if you understand where I'm coming from here. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. Now, I will put this out there. Very limited. I'll just show you the my roles here. And that's actually because I feel like... See, support is actually the one that I just kind of... I've enjoyed the most. Uh, mostly it's thanks to Hank and his orbital drop. Because his orbital drop is fucking amazing. And I feel like it's like a really good... Kind of almost suicidal tactic for me. Where, like, once the monster actually starts focusing me, I will just pull that shit out and aim right at my feet. And it's like, come at me, bro. Just feel free <laughs> to walk right into this and watch me not give a shit. Trapper, I feel like, is the most important, the most vital role at the very beginning of a match. Because the trapper has an ability that, like, it's, it's an, it basically places down an arena that anybody can walk into but nobody can walk out of and so you utilize that to trap the monster in there so they can't escape they can't run because the monster is significantly faster than any of the hunters like it is very it's uh, not easy to run away depending it's easy to run away against a bad group but depending upon you know like how your, your group synergy is and whether or not everybody's using their abilities it can become difficult to run away but in general the monster is significantly faster uh, and is very well equipped to running away from the hunters and so the trapper is the main role that you need to prevent that from occurring so that you can trap them early and kill them early and so that's why trapper is my number two is because i think it's the most important and then assault is just assault very straightforward you do damage and medic i just suck at i'm not good i'm not good as a medic monster i also suck at i'm terrible as the monster i should actually probably put the monster in front of the 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 issue with monster isn't that like i'm terrible at it but it's that i haven't really tried to learn it at all and so thanks to the, like I have played enough of it I've uh, I've unlocked the Kraken because when you get thrown in if you join an evacuation and you end up being the monster you are the monster for the duration of the evacuation because at the end it total it gives you experience based upon how many wins you got and so obviously it wouldn't make sense to like switch roles around and so like the person that didn't even take part as a monster that didn't even gather the experience at the end in the first place ends up getting the experience at the end so like right now we're on day one of five if i get put as a monster i'm gonna be a sad individual also the load times for this game pretty substantial they're pretty they take a while they take a while where are we at here looks like we're in the middle of character selection and the timer is ticking down while it's trying to load this shit for me come on dude Maybe I just, maybe I don't get a choice. Is that what it's kind of showing me here? Everybody just dropped. The bottom right corner of the icons down there show who's, yeah, so two people dropped. Dang! Whoever was the monster got fucked up. I don't care which one are we going for? We're going for Nest. Sure thing. 
Rescue is actually kind of I feel I really feel like rescue in general is almost impossible for the monster to succeed with whereas nest I feel like nest is more balanced. I mean so far from what I've noticed I have never not once have I ever lost a rescue mission as one of the hunters. I almost won one as a monster. I've only taken part in one as a monster. I almost won it. But uh, unfortunately I tunnel visioned. At the end there were two survivors left. They only needed to rescue one of those. And I tunnel visioned the one that was right in front of me. And while I was tunnel visioning that one, the other one got behind me and managed to get far enough toward the dropship to escape. And I couldn't catch up to him. I tried to. I threw a rock at him, but it wasn't enough. It was my, that's my own fault. Like I definitely could have won that one, but it was also not a very effective group of hunters against me either. Like they did really nothing to hinder me at all. See, like it, that, this is this is the wait. Who left? Oh, never mind. It just that means whoever's supposed to be over there. That is all. It's always set up this way. So should I use Hank or should? I, does that? Hmm. So I'm just gonna use Hank just because I haven't recorded yet, and I am definitely better with Hank than I am with Bucket. And I think I would probably want reload speed here with him. So it's always. It looks like this is always set up the same way medic on the far left support right there and then you have um what's it called what just happened why did that why did the timer run down without anybody like the monster wasn't selected what just happened i've never seen this happen before this is all new to me like usually everybody selects their shit but no monster was selected the person that was the trapper didn't select okay Sure thing! Whatever's go- I don't know, like, I've- I've never seen that happen before. Usually everything fills out... ...first. It's funny, the entire point of this game mode is you have to go find these eggs and blow them up, but the monster can also hatch one egg. He can't hatch more than one. But the hunt- the monster can hatch an egg and get, like, a thr- I don't- I think they call it a thrall? Uh, but basically it's just like a generic AI controlled level 1 Goliath I believe or maybe it's just a level 1 of whatever monster you select and so then they help you out and that's when it gets dangerous like really this mode typically is not dangerous at all if you're just against the monster but if you are up if the monster does manage to hatch one of the eggs which there's not really a problem doing that then uh things can get sketchy for a little bit especially depending upon what monster so let me check okay i wasn't actually sure i've never started out a game mode before that wasn't full so i wasn't sure like if they had AI. it wouldn't make sense if they didn't start it out with ai control so we got all the base classes here medic how about you ready for the drop well, good as we're gonna get. Ain't nobody else around. So first thing we gotta do is evaluate where the closest egg's at. Definitely the 86. And let's hope these dudes following me. Ah, fuck. Oh, that means I'm not gonna be able to orbital drop it. That sucks. Where's the monster? Why am I seen as the monster? The dated monster coming up. I'm helping Daisy. There is the monster. Oh, right there. Die for 
fuck is it? This motherfucker just floating around up there doing nothing. Why is this dude not breaking the shield? There you go. Yeah, whoever this monster is, just is not very good. Like, they're not breaking any of the traps. saw it go that way. We really shouldn't be focusing on the monster. Oh, no wonder we're not doing any damage. Somebody's over there just destroying the eggs. I mean, the person could stick around, because I believe if you kill the monster, like, you don't have to kill. That's what they're called, minions. You don't have to finish off the monster. I mean, you don't have to finish off the eggs. I believe if you kill the monster, you're set. In every game mode, if you kill the monster, you're good from there. to make sure I was going the same direction as everybody else since I'm split off. So hopefully the Kraken does not notice that I'm split off from everybody and comes kicks my ass. What was that? What was that? What was that? I'm scared. I hear things. Hi guys, don't be too close. Oh, never mind. I can't. Why is everything underneath the ceiling where I can't fuck with it? This is actually... Oh, you know what? I think it's because it's the... Isn't it the AI that has control of the medic? I was gonna say, this is the first time I've ever actually played with a medic that actually, like, uses the weak points. But... Who's... Who's putting down icons? Looks like we might be dealing with a monster soon. Where'd he go? Okay, I that. Why is this dude killing Daisy? Like, what did Daisy ever do to this guy? Dodging not working. I tried to dodge. Harpoon trap ready. Not much left to shoot. No, don't. It's not worth it when he's still paying attention to me. Like you're not. You're just wasting time. You're shooting, motherfucker. Like look at him. He's halfway dead. Not quite halfway dead, but he's hurt. Oh, look at Daisy! Oh, Daisy's not actually helping me. What is happening? Oh, Daisy got him up.
So is the Kraken even evolved? Like I don't think I, I don't I don't remember ever seeing in evolution you've reached the Kraken has reached stage two notification. Oh, there you go. That took him way longer than it. Like the dude managed to level up his sh like get his shields full twice. That should have been more than enough. Um, you know what? I'm gonna let them rock and I'm gonna go after the eggs. Like, this dude's stuck in there for the time being. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my opportunity. That seemed unnecessary. Bother chasing them, not worth it. Let's go get the eggs. I mean, he's being effective. We're not doing enough damage to him to kill him. So. There, got the old drop down. Suck my dick, bitch! Suck my dick, bitch! No one curve, bitch! Plus the drop shit, so. Oh, never mind, not that soon. Where's the egg at? I don't think I can hit the egg from here. I might be hitting the egg from here. <laughs> People are definitely focusing too much on the Kraken. And not like. You guys, all you gotta do is destroy two eggs. Gotcha. Got it. I got it down. I don't care. I got it down. I did some pretty real damage to him too there. Oh, the dropship came in though, so I'm not going back. We lost. The monster wins in 13 seconds. And so unless this dude kills him in 13 seconds. How do you just heal? Just ate something, I guess, maybe? Yeah, the monster won. Man! That's what happens. You don't focus, like, that's the thing. You're supposed to fo you focus on the goal. Keep your eye on the prize. And we didn't keep our eye on the prize. We spent too long trying to kill the monster, and it's not worth it. The eggs are far easier to kill than the monster is. Oh, I see, so they do, they all have their separate shit, okay. I see. Look at that average, though, man, look at that average! Kicked some booty there, I'm such a good Hank. But yeah, just that that's the first game I've played with Hank since I've unlocked um, Bucket, so that makes sense. I thought it was like, you only got one star, and then the other ones you have to get to like two star, and the last one worked with three star, whatever. But that makes more sense, I get it now. I now understand how the ranking system in this game works. You need to get to one star with everything to unlock the next, uh, like, level of what, you know, the next rank of whatever you are. And then, after that, you can continue going. I wonder if you unlock level two, like, if I unlocked, um level two with all of Hank's shit, if that unlocks the third level, or if I have to do one with Bucket. I, th I think I have to do it all with Bucket. Damn, everybody left. 
not everybody, but... Who left? The dude that was the monster is gone. Were we fighting an AI monster the whole time? That might actually make more That might make sense if we were fighting an AI monster the entire time. Because I know none of the, neither one of these dudes were the monster. So I might use Bucket on... Nah. I'll get used to Bucket on the day fives. Because he's... And I'll show you why. Once we actually get there, it's going to be a while before we actually get there. As you can see, because that mission took, like, what, 20 minutes by itself? <laughs> um, uh, Bucket has an ability where he can basically... He, pl he can put down turrets and he can put down a max of five at a time. And so those turrets are just devastating. Oh, I'm the trapper. Okay, so what, what have I got left to do? I gotta do harpoon traps, and I gotta follow around. And I gotta follow Daisy around. So let me do... I think I would want jetpack recharge with her. Yeah, so the main thing with the trapper is, like, you saw... Maybe, it, you know what, that would definitely make sense if that thing was... No, even the, the AI is actually better at getting rid of the, uh... Like, when you saw them when they got hit with the, um, the, like, the stringy shit. That fat, like, white line that was hanging off of them. That's what, that's Maggie's traps that she can put down. And they, you know, they hinder movement. They only allow you to move for so far. But you, you only have to melee attack them once and then they're gone. Ugh. And I'm pretty sure the AI is pretty proficient at getting rid of those, so I don't know. But so this is gonna be heavily dependent upon me being decent here. Not even really me being decent. Motherfucker, just quit. I guess that dude don't want to be a medic or something, I don't know. And that motherfucker don't want to be a monster. I got a bad room. This is never... I've never had this much, like, fluctuation in players before. See, so yeah, I definitely drew a bad room here, which is unfortunate. As you can see, people are constantly coming in and out, but... Yeah. Sorry. Usually it's much faster than this, because everybody just has to pick their shit, and then they're done. But, um... And so, you know, you don't, never, you don't have to always wait for the entire timer to wind down, which takes a good chunk of time. As you can see, we've been here for, what, three minutes almost? Like, that last match ended it a little before 21 minutes. And now we're almost at 24. And so, one of the main things, actually, one of the main tips I could give any new player coming into this game... Don't just follow Daisy. Daisy is a crutch that will not work out well for you because Daisy follows along where the monster goes. But like I said at the beginning of this video, the monster is faster than any of you are. So if you just follow Daisy, you will be constantly running in a circle and you will never catch the monster. However, one of the things that you have to do in order to level up uh, Maggie to unlock the second trapper sure is to follow okay. daisy for x amount of meters i think Whoa, it's like, you didn't like six thousand or something like, i can't remember exactly what it is but you, you have to follow daisy along moving. for a certain amount of time yeah, a certain amount of distance in order to maximize that rank best. and level up and so unfortunately while i do recognize that follow just following daisy will never work out and it's not that good of an option it's what i'm going to do because i want to level up my dudes so Daisy, go. Or just Daisy, what the fuck are you Daisy, what the fuck are you doing? I am sticking together. I'm sticking together with Daisy. Oh god. Please don't let this lead to a fucking tyrant or whatever they're called. 
One of the uh, scariest fucking monsters in the game chills out in water. Ow. I don't even know what hit me, but I'm running from it. So is everybody- if everybody's following me, that's a problem. Because I am intentionally playing poorly in order to follow Daisy. Distracted me. But yeah, everybody is following me, so this is definitely a problem. Like, we're never gonna catch the monster this way. So, people that have not played this game but are interested in it and may end up getting it, take note. Do not play like this! I mean, straight up, we're gonna lose. I, I guarantee you, we keep playing like this, we all keep following Daisy. Everybody is done. We will not win. How far away is that? See, so, yeah, 100 meters away. The very least, we'll find a morsel. If anyone's peckish, that is. I hear it. Kill it now! Don't let it grow! I'm so bad, I wasted the hell out of my arena. Oh, what? What are you gonna do? Yeah. Oh good, does that mean I followed her long enough? I think that means I followed her long enough. Nope! Not even a little bit! I still got 25% more to go! God damn plans. Oh, Yo, this homie's mic keeps up. Nope, that's not it. I don't know why the fuck somebody tagged it for trapping. Yeah, we're just wasting time here. I can't believe everybody's still following Daisy. Like, it took me one day to figure out you should never follow Daisy. You should try to, like, you should try to flank. Never just follow Daisy. But that's all these people are doing thus far. And so this homie gonna get to, I mean, this is, I haven't even seen the monster yet. So this dude is getting a free level three and we lose. Because I have absolutely zero faith in this group of people. 
actually managing to kill a level 3. Like, I'm not trying to say this like I'm some master at this game. I'm not. And so that's even worse. You know, with the knowledge that I'm not all that capable. But this is what this is what I mean about like how it's just kind of like 90% just running around you're just hoping. Cuz ultimately it does all just come down to luck, really. Like it's not this game is very much dependent upon hmm. Easy does it, folks, when you're a tyrant fool. So this there being no icon over Daisy means Daisy has no clue where to go, and we have lost the monster. I'm not gonna find the fucking thing. Fucking dog is doing shit. Oh, Daisy found it. Maggie, I got Daisy. You can relax. Daisy lost it. <laughs> that probably means it's somewhere like right nearby and it's sneaking. Like it's right next to us somewhere. And it's just sneaking and nobody's seeing it. Damn, it's right near the power relay, too. That's a bummer. Oh, good. Does that hopefully mean... I mean, I'm gonna keep following Daisy. I don't even care. We've lost this game. I have no faith in winning this game, so I'm just following Daisy. Except Daisy's acting like a fucking dumbass right now. Like, if I can trap this thing outside of the, um, trap out. Uh oh, I don't know if you can see that. You can see that. My battery's getting low. Like, I don't think... So, I am absolutely positively convinced that certain people only play the monster to do shit like this. Like, they're not interested in actually winning. They just think it's hilarious to carry it out. Like, just to make this never end, basically. Which, I mean, like, that's fine. Like, that's... Oh, cool. So, that person has quit. One person has quit. So while this bullshit is going on, I'm gonna go find my controllers. Like, oh wait, wait, maybe. Oh, it's a wraith. No fucking wonder we can never find it. The goddamn wraith. So yeah, the wraith is by far the uh, easiest one to never ever get caught. Let me shoot. 
there we should not be winning. Keep getting him, keep getting him. Don't worry about me, just keep getting him. Not against a good rate. Oh yeah, we're dead. We lost. But we should, I mean, against, that just shows none of us were competent at all. A level three Wraith should never have gotten that low. All right, anyway, let me go grab my uh, charger. All right, so I think I should almost be there. I think I actually should be there after this, yeah. So that allows me to unlock the next level of Trapper. So now I got Griffin, who I do not know a damn thing about. <laughs> oh, that distance followed. That's just pathetic. That's just sad. That's sad overall. But I really hope... I'm, I'm fairly certain it was the AI that got to pick. Because honestly, I hate fighting against the Wraith. The Wraith is... By far the easiest to uh, to beat an, un like a, a, an inexperienced group. I just, I don't like rescue because rescue is like a free win for the hunters, which I understand why people are voting for that since it is basically a free win for the hunters, but I don't, I don't want free wins. I want challenges. Plus we lost the last nest and we never should have. So I gotta, I gotta fucking, uh, we gotta, we gotta get some payback for that. All right, that handles that. Thank you, Turtle Rock Studios, for actually putting that shit in. God, I can't believe, like, it's been 40 minutes. It's been 40 minutes already, and we're still two levels away from completion. These take, it takes a time commitment to win this shit. To complete this shit, even. And then you got the loading t The loading times really are quite substantial. I'm not sure why they're that big. Because basically loading, from what I can gather, from what I would assume log would be the logical... Uh, no, against Nest, I'm going to pick Hank again. From what I can assume is the... Um, where's, where's Recharge? Where's Recharge? Right there. From what I can assume would be the logical process that it does this, basically the first thing it does, that first big chunk, is loading the level. And then afterward, after that, it has to like load all the characters and the monster into it. After everybody's picked their shit. I just, but I really don't, It's it really does seem like the load times for this game are overboard. Unnecessarily long. Ooh, a Parnell. I have never seen this dude before. Oh, come on, man. Oh. I guess I haven't seen Abe either, actually. I would assume Hyde would be better. I don't know what Parnell does, but Hyde has the flamethrower, and the flamethrower is probably amazing against the, um, uh, what's it called? The eggs. I need to buy a new PS4 controller like charger it's really the default one they give you is like maybe five feet long if I had to guess honestly I would say four I am going to say it's four feet long and that's just it's not long enough it's like I'm sitting here and I actually have to have my arm extended out to my knee and kind of playing like that versus you know like having the controller just kind of near my uh, near my stomach where I would normally have it but the controller isn't actually long enough. <laughs> it's kind of sad. 
I need, I definitely need a new cable. Hey, bounty hunting sucks balls. The kind of thing you do when you can't do anything else. This is way better. Oh, that next close by. All right. The hell am I getting caught by? I don't know what slowed me down there. You are an asshole. Damn. Yo, those weak. Oh, this motherfucker. I think we got it. All right, two monsters. Let me show you women what real fucking damage is. Do Bitches. <laughs> they're probably so mad at me right now. That's twice that I've done. They're all just standing right next to the egg and I just go and blow it and fuck up. Radar to display, or whatever the fuck that is. Damn, I went the wrong way. I don't think people use their dash enough. That's one thing I've noticed. Like, usually if I'm behind people, I tend to catch up really fast, and I really shouldn't. Stage two, and we already have three eggs dead, is actually pretty good. Oh, that's right, so the third egg, so we've killed three eggs, and the third egg is the one that he's already summoned. The fuck? Oh, one of these dudes. Don't see me! Ow! I didn't know what he hit with his tail. <laughs> okay. Noted. That time, so I didn't kill you. What is this lag? Oh, nope. I was wrong. This dude's gotta be waiting for us. Oh, yes, you're out.
egg is going to fucking die though. Am I even hitting it? Yo, this egg is dead. I'm gonna get it. I got it! Oh, no. That's that fucking matters, because we're all fucked. There's only one dude left, yeah, we fucked. Darn, we shouldn't have lost. Like, that was too obvious that that was gonna happen and we should have been prepared for it, but we were, we were all split up, so it was basically me and the dude that immediately died. Yo, if this guy actually manages to get away, why, what are you turning around for, bro? He turns around and gets bodied from the back by wild. Why, like, you're running away, why would you turn around? That's your only option is to get away. You're not gonna win. Oh, shit, that dude didn't even have his shield gone. That's definitely one of the most significant issues with playing Hank, is that, um, because of what it, like, you get that giant blue aura around your, uh, whoever you're trying to protect, obviously, the monster is going to be able to see that and go, oh, let me go murder this support's face, and that's exactly what happened. The moment I started, uh, helping somebody, that dude came up and bodied me in seconds, so. But yeah, we shouldn't, I, we should not be losing these. But I don't know enough, I don't know enough about the other characters to know whether or not anybody else is, like, not doing their job. I know the base characters, but that's it. So this dude has a massive advantage, not, not a massive advantage, but he does have an advantage. One of the, uh, th well, at least the, one of the things that they say happens in this game, I've not actually really noticed anything in particular really pointing toward it. But they say, like, basically each one that you win gives you an advantage. So, like, each one the monster wins, they get something. Like, they get, um, like a toxic aura floating around, which will damage, uh, the, won't damage the monster, but it will damage the hunters. Or the hunters end up having, like, a turret placed at certain spots around the map, that kind of thing. But I don't know if that's actually true, because I've never really seen it. Please don't tell me that means we're about to fight a wraith. I hate the wraith. This level right here is skewed so heavily toward the defenders, though, it's not even... It's really not even fair, to be perfectly blunt. I have never lost... A, like, even when we get wiped all four other days... We, I have still never lost a defend. And that doesn't matter. That's actually the only time I've ever beaten a Wraith, too, was on defend. <laughs> yeah, so if I get support... Alright, cool. So I did. We will use, we're going to use Bucket here. Because, like I said, this man's... So, what do, what do I want here? Reload speed really isn't important for Bucket. Bucket only has one thing that actually reloads. So I would say... Jetpack? Jetpack. Oh, we got a Lazarus! Yeah, anybody have a mic? Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, that buffalo, fuck yeah. Jesus Christ, that is some... <laughs> These motherfuckers may have mics, but they are not very good quality. Alright, so what monster are we gonna end up fighting against? So, the main point of Lazarus, he doesn't actually have, hey, as far as I'm aware... Hey, that's He's my buddy, so we gotta make sure we kill him. Jesus Christ! I should've muted it. I have no idea uh, how he's a monster or in a party, but whatever. The main... Um... Yeah, we, feature we of Lazarus is that he doesn't really have any active bad. healing. But he can revive you, and you don't get... Every single time you... I don't know if you notice. Every single time you get revived, you have a little bit less health. So, like, the first time you get revived after being knocked down, you have 75% health. The second time, 50%. And then after that 50%, you just get killed at that point. Like, you don't you don't get knocked down. You can get brought back up. You're just dead. Alright, so where is that? Oh, it's right here. Alright, so where are the main entrances? This is actually a very wide open... This is I've never played this map before. This is a very wide open area right here. 
I'm not sure how much I like. Where are you, little bitch? Two minutes. Bombers over here. You're a little lower, bitch. Put down the arena. Here. This whole game will be running in time soon. You put down the arena. You can come back to me. I know you are. You put down the arena once it's run out of shields. Don't you, bitch? I'm gonna slow you down, bitch. Why you hitting me? I ain't important. I ain't important. I'm just a support. Back it up. Nobody goes after the support first. I'm just a support role. Yo, this dude hates me. Okay, let's see if this dude. I mean, this guy is. He... You got Lazarus, right? Whoever this yeah, guy is is stupid. Guy. Like, straight up. This dude is not smart. He spent all of his time focusing that one dude. Look at his health. I mean, this dude should be dead. There's really no way we should not be capable of killing this guy at this point. What the fuck? the hell I just happened to be in the path. He should be, I mean, there really sh is no reason why this guy should not be dead. Yeah. This guy's a terrible monster. This guy is one of the worst monsters. I apologize if you ever see this video, homie. But bum rushing will never work. You never, especially in that level, you never want to bum rush. There is a reason why it continually spawns minions for you. You are, I mean, the way that you're supposed to win that shit as a monster is, well, the way you're supposed to win, essentially, as a monster, is to be a complete bitch. That's what you do. You fight like a complete asshole. You go out, you run away, you fill up your sh Well, initially, so let's pretend that we're doing this from level one. Uh, well, I'll wait to talk until I'm gonna quit out after this. You got fucking manhandled. Fuck you, I knew I was gonna lose anyway, so I just fucking get the last thing when I try and fucking rock, dude. Oh, okay, that's- I mean, if, that, if that's the attitude, that's fine. I've done that before, too, as a monster. Like, fuck it. I don't- I don't really care. I don't want to win. I'm just gonna go do whatever damage I can, and that'll be that. So that's fine if that's how he wanted- that's how he wanted to play it, today. He did it very well. Twice. Next to Lazarus, game and fucking revive me, so go fuck yourself. Alright, cool. so let's get out of here, let's get out of microphone world. Out of staticky microphone world. So basically, that and this is actually the main reason why I do not particularly enjoy uh playing the monster is because it doesn't really fit how I enjoy playing games. And that's because basically now again, let's just pretend we're starting from the beginning. Let's pretend we're in the basic hunt game. Where you start out as level 1, and the only goal here is for the hunters to hunt you down. That's it. You start out level 1. What you want to do is you run away, you sneak, you kill something every once in a while and eat it, and then you keep running a bit further, and then you kill something and you eat it, and you keep doing that until you can evolve to level 2. Now, once you're at level 2, you can actually compete at this point. At level 1, the only group of people you are ever going to be beating is a bad group of people. At level 2 is when, you know, skill really starts to make uh, an impact. A good level 2 monster can fight against a good group of hunters. Level 3 is where a good monster is essentially invincible. And so, basically, the entire game plan that you do as a monster is 
You run in. You eat stuff until you have full shields. You run in and attack. Once the hunters bring down your shields, you bail. You go and you recharge those shields back up. And so basically, unless, of course, you have them, like, really hurt, then you just continue it and you hope that you win. But, like, basically what you want to do is you want to focus, like, one person. Unless they have a Lazarus, then this whole game plan is just thrown out the window. But you want to focus one person, knock them down, get them that health deficit, and do that as many times as you can before you bail, recharge shields, and do it all over again. Same thing with that game mode. The entire game, they give you like five minutes at the beginning to blow up one generator. You have to blow up a gener two generators and something else, whatever the final goal is. And so they give you five minutes per. The timer resets once you destroy each version of it. And so the entire game plan that you do there and why I kind of mocked the trapper throwing down the, the bubble that quickly. You go in, you follow a group of minions in. You do as much damage as you can until your shields are gone. And once your shields are gone, you're gone. You run, you go find more wildlife, you recharge those shields, you follow the next group of minions in. You keep doing that and you make sure you do enough damage to blow up the generator. You have to fight like an absolute bitch to succeed. I can't do that. I don't have that mentality. I want to hit things. I want to blow things up. <laughs> I don't want to run. I don't want to do no tactical retreats. This is why I will never be a general in the army. I don't do tactical retreats. We go until everything is dead. And so that's why I kind of like I don't really enjoy playing the monsters because to be successful as the monster requires kind of a, spe a specific mentality of how and when to fight. But anyway, so that was that's an hour of Evolve right there. And so if you guys end up like... I mean, like I said, I think the best thing to do would definitely be to like record and edit. Like cool moments throughout the entire thing versus like this where I just recorded an hour where there was like five minutes of action like a bad baseball game <laughs> where it's like 50 minutes of commercials 10 minutes of actual game two minutes where the ball's actually in play I don't think anybody wants that so we'll, we'll see how it goes but I do I do have some ideas and we'll see if it works out or not but anyway that was evolved so hope you enjoyed